In this video, we are going to discuss the final classification of signals that is real and imaginary signal. So now, so as the name indicates, so real signal won't have any imaginary part and imaginary signal won't have any real part. So a signal said to be real when it satisfies the condition x of t is equal to x star of t. So we need to consider the complex conjugate of the signal. So here similarly a signal is said to be an imaginary signal when it satisfies the condition x of t equal to minus x star of t. So for example, I want to consider some examples here. So for example, I am going to consider x of t is equal to cos omega naught t. If this is our signal, then how we can say this is a real signal or imaginary signal. So here if you consider x star of t, then you are also, you are, uh, you are not uh, getting any, anything. That means uh, here this is equal to cos omega naught t only. So, or for example, you can consider x of t is equivalent to some a t. I am considering like a t. Then after performing the complex conjugate also, you are going to get the same thing. Why? Because you are not having any imaginary part. So, where your complex conjugate uh, is going to affect means on imaginary part only. So, here if you consider x star of t, you are going to get the same thing. So, it satisfies the condition x of t equal to x star of t. This is a real signal. Then, now we are going to see about a imaginary signal. A signal is said to be imaginary when it satisfies the condition x of t equal to minus x star of t. Now, here I am going to consider an example. So, if x of t is equal to i b t. So, this is a signal if you are having that signal value as i b t. So, now here if you consider the complex conjugate then you are getting i b t whole star. So, here b t for b t star will not work that means complex conjugate uh, con cannot work. If you are having i r j then i star or j star will become minus. So, here you are going to get minus i b t. So, now x star of t equal to minus i b t. If you consider minus x star of t, then again that is equal to i b t. So, you can see x of t equal to minus x star of t. So, it satisfied this condition. So, this is said to be x of t equal to i b t is said to be an imaginary signal. Now, we are having two important points that is real signal for a real signal the imaginary part must be 0. For a imaginary signal the real part must be 0. So, that means so for example if you are having any signal li like this x of t equal to for example if you are having e power j omega naught t you know that this is equal to cos omega naught t plus j sin omega naught t and another signal so exponential signal that is e power minus j omega naught t so this is equal to cos omega naught t minus j sin omega naught t if you consider these two signals these are not said to be real or imaginary why because these two are complex signals that means having both real part and imaginary part so to make these signals as imaginary so you need to make you need to make your real part as zero so to make these signals as uh, uh, real you need to make your imaginary part as zero so that means so here if you want to make any uh, sometimes they may ask question like this so here to make these signals as uh, imaginary signals or to make this as uh, some uh, real signals so how much you need to consider here that means so you know that cos 0 equal to 1 sin, uh, sin 0 is equal to 0 so if you want to make these signals as real signals how much phase you need to consider how much frequency you need to consider how much value you need to consider means for example if i consider t equal to 0 then sin 0 will become 0 so here also sin 0 will become 0 so the remaining thing so cos omega naught t cos omega naught t so 
uh, real signal only. So similarly, if you want to make any um, real path as zero and if you want to make these signals as imaginary, so you need to make this real path as zero by providing a particular uh, particular uh, uh, angle that means so cos 90 or cos uh, uh, 90 like that you, you can take to make this as zero and like that you are going to get the problems on real and imaginary most of the uh, questions coming from this theory only that means what is meant by a real signal and what is meant by a imaginary signal so short in uh, in short way we can define the real signal is a signal which is having only a real path and will satisfy this condition and a imaginary signal is a signal which is having only imaginary path and uh, it is satisfying this condition. So these two points are very important for a real signal imaginary part must be 0 and for imaginary signals real part must be 0. This is about the final classification of classification of signals and systems.